everyone gets a touch on the speed technical model, so the technical drills that we go through to kind of highlight qualities of speed or positions that are essential to running fast. Um, and then they build from there to resisted sprinting, um, acceleration drills, tap-in sprinting, and kind of hollowed runs where you're kind of putting the pedal down and easing off or keeping the speed for a while and then going again. Um, and then from there, I guess the last layer is that coming back into the rugby setting where they can apply, I guess, the drills that they've been using in the setting of rugby. We have GPS on all the players um, for their, the main rugby sessions of the week. Um, the GPS system we use is the Catapult GPS system. They're, they're our provider, so uh, the way that works is we have live on-field data that we can use to look at players, but also uh, we have a, a backlog of a lot of data from the last couple of seasons. And this year in particular, we strive really hard to uh, use that data. Um, and we looked at it kind of from like a, a telescope point of view where we looked at entire games across the season, delved down into quarter by quarter analysis and delved even further down then into minute by minute analysis of the entire game um, for a few games and questions that we thought were pertinent to look at. That kind of built our framework of what our conditioning would be. Um, and then we utilise that information to create the conditioning that you see on the pitch these days now. So we look at repeated high intensity efforts, the worst case scenarios are kind of the outer limits of the things that we look at and the hardest places where we can drive the players to. And then just the general demands that each particular position and each positional profile will be asked to do during a game. So um, the conditioning really is based on the information which we gathered through the GPS from all of last season's data and then tailored so that we target essentially what are the very hard aspects of the game because they're the ones that we really look to achieve and, and build upon.